We are getting a better understanding of what happened leading up to a deadly shooting at Lake Ozark nearly 24 hours ago. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Deborah Kendrick. Lucas has a night off. It's a story we've been following all day. You will be looking at some video right here from the scene last night and of this morning. Since then, one person has been charged. Tonka Ponder is facing charges in connection to last night's deadly shooting. ABC 17's Zach Boetto is live right now from the Bagnell Dam Strip where that deadly shooting took place. And Zach, Ponder faces several charges, but murder right now is not one of them. Yeah, Deborah, the Miller County prosecutor charged Tonka Ponder with first degree assault and armed criminal action. It's unclear if there are more charges coming against Ponder or if there will be any charges for any other suspects in this case. But tonight, here at the Bagnell Dam, things are busy again. I've seen families walking up and down the strip and eating at restaurants, and the bikers are back. Now, it's a much different scene here than it was 24 hours ago. Tonight, we're uncovering new details about what led up to that fatal shooting right here. Shot fired, shot fired. With multiple other witnesses, I'm getting reports of a body. Bike night at the Bagnell Dam Strip turned deadly last night after a newly released probable cause statement says opposing motorcycle clubs exchanged gunfire, leaving one person dead. Police were called to the 1300 block of Bagnell Dam Boulevard around 745 for reports of shots fired. When officers got there, they found several people with gunshot wounds at the scene, including a man who was believed to be dead near the entrance to Casablanca. The report says video surveillance showed a brawl outside the bar. In the video, police could see a gun pointed at Ponder, the suspect who was fighting someone else. Ponder then pulled out his gun and shot the man who pulled the gun on him initially and killed him. A gunfight then broke out and Ponder was hit. He then fell on the deck in front of Casablanca. That's when Ponder reloaded his gun and shot another man walking on Bagnell Dam Boulevard with both of his hands in the air. And Deborah, the probable cause statement says Ponder is being held on a $100,000 bond. We reached out to the Miller County Jail. They said they did not have an inmate under that name. Reporting live from the Bagnell Dam Strip, Zach Boetto, ABC 17 News. Zach, thank you. And multiple businesses on the Strip host biker-related activities on third Thursdays of each month from April to September. The next bike night is scheduled for August 17th.